Welcome to Session Self Tutorials. Hello, fellow therapists. I'm Ian, a practicing psychotherapist, and I use Session Self each day in my own private practice. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at configuring the client portal. If you've just created your account on the account setup screen, you'll see configure client portal. You can click this button to go directly to configuring your client portal, or you can get there by going to account settings, portal. Clicking get started will take you to the setup. The first thing you'll be prompted to do is to enter your portal address. This is just a name that you want to give to your client portal to customize it. And more than likely, it'll just be the name of your practice. So for example, I'm just going to do sessions health. And if your domain is already in use, it will let you know that's already in use. And so you have to change it to something that's not taken. So I'm just going to say demo clinic that's available. Click continue. You can turn your client portal on and off using this toggle button. And if you ever want to give your clients the link to your portal directly, you can just copy and paste this link and give it to them. I'm in our demo server. And so that's why it says beta, but in your live account, beta wouldn't be there. It would just be democlinic.sessionshealth.com. You can then configure which features you want to have turned on. If you want clients to be able to cancel appointments through the client portal, you can turn that on. When you toggle that on, you'll see this cancellation policy appeared. We can configure it by clicking the three dot menu and going to edit. We can say an appointment will be automatically marked as a late cancel if canceled within we can set up whatever we want here. Most people do 24 hours. We'll prevent clients from canceling if within, maybe we say um, 12 hours of the session. Next feature, client uploads. If we have this selected, clients can upload files through the client portal. If we turn on secure messaging, we can now securely communicate with clients using secure messaging at the top of the screen. Online payments will only be available once you integrate your account with Stripe. This account hasn't been integrated with Stripe, which is why it's not available. But once you connect your account with Stripe, you can turn this on and then clients can also pay bills through the client portal. Online booking. Can clients book sessions through the client portal. If this is turned on, you can let clients do that. You can manage availability. I'm not going to get into that in this tutorial because we have a separate tutorial just on online booking. Continuing past the feature setup, we can also configure what client information is available to be entered through the client portal. Demographics, that will turn on the ability to collect birth date and gender, request clients legal sex designation. You can turn that on and off. This is particularly useful if you're generating electronic claims or um, paper claims. Contact information, it's phone numbers and addresses. Contact preferences, such as allowing someone to configure how they want to be contacted whether via email, phone, etc. Insurance information. If you turn this on, clients will be able to enter their insurance information through the client portal. Scrolling down, we have consent forms and intake forms. If you've added any consent forms or intake forms to your account, you can check which ones you want to be available by default. And that will show up here. I will add one just so that we can see that. 
I'm not going to get into a a forms tutorial in in this one because we have other tutorials for that but I'm just going to add a couple of forms to the account and once those have been added then now when we go back to the portal we can also say I want this consent form to be checked automatically when I invite a client to the portal and these two as well if I want to add shared documents that maybe I attach a, a PDF to every portal invite and I want that to be available I can click add and I can upload that file here and then that file will also be available anytime I invite a client to the portal that concludes configuration of the client portal as always if you have any questions, you can reach us at support at sessionshealth.com.